Hey everyone, Lauren here and we're going to use the September kit to make another layout this morning. So I decided I would tackle this house paper. Now when I first saw it I thought I would just fussy cut the houses and then make a layout of, you know, like a cluster of all the houses across or something like this. But instead I thought, <coughs> oh sorry, excuse me, to challenge myself and use it as a whole background piece and to see if I could make that work. I was not going to push it if I couldn't make it work but I'm definitely going to try it. So we got this vellum piece of paper as well, a 12 by 12 vellum sheet in the <laughs> kit as well. So I'm deciding, I was thinking about whether putting that over top would dull it a little and support it but it's not that it's bright, it's that it's a lot going on in the background so the vellum was not right. So instead I'm using it to layer behind my photo and then I'm going to use some other paper pieces that are left to layer. So I've just ripped that bottom edge giving a bit of interest on that orange piece and then I'm going to add this one here and I don't always add the photo papers layers behind in to cover all four edges and that just adds that little pop of interest instead. So I'm just ripping this one down so that I can possibly add it as well somewhere else or on another layout. And then you can see here this white, black and white one's going to be on the bottom of it. It's not over the top side like the, the top edge of the paper. So yeah, so that's my layering going on from the pattern paper that I've got left. And I pulled out these pattern paper, oh sorry pattern paper cards. No, they're pocket page cards that came in the printable. So if you're a subscriber, you get exclusive printables, which includes cards and embellishments and all lovely things, some florals, everything like that, that are in the same color tone and work really well. There's some phrases and whatnot like that in the printables as well. You also, as a subscriber, get exclusive cut files. So definitely not just worth it for all the the goodies that we get in our kit but also for the extras which those are the physical extras but there's also um exclusive videos in the facebook group and we have crops and chats and all types of lives and things all types of things that go on in there anyway back to the layout so i've that yellow piece was a nice size strip to go underneath and add a fishtail banner to the right and then I found another piece of paper and then I've got these pattern paper card. Um, why do I keep saying pattern paper cards? Project Life pocket page cards that were from the cut apart sheet and some of them I just turned over to get that other side of the pattern paper rather than the pocket page side of them. So I'm just going to work on layering them in. I don't end up actually layering all those pocket page cards in. I just thought it was becoming a bit too wild but I wanted to make sure that there was some definition between the layering and the background. So there, so I'm just having a little fiddle. Let's play a little bit longer on the layering and I'm just keeping that in on the video just to make sure that you guys have that opportunity. I'm thinking a bit here, I've got my hands crossed <laughs> and looking at it. So. I then decide I'm going to work on a title. So I pull out some of the letters from the thickers that we got in the kit. And I'm just putting it on my stamp pad, my stamp block, just because it was sitting there. Oh yeah, that's right. That's why my hands were crossed. I asked my son to go get me a doily from my room. So I've got that big, lovely doily. And that just filled in that space there and made a bit of it more definition. Especially now that I'm going to spray it with the mineral color gloss spray that we got in the kit in the mixed media kit so we got three of them and then this is the blue one which is called mineral so spraying a lot on there and i have noticed that this gloss spray dries and sticks to things so you need to wipe it up i really should have just put a piece of paper behind it and um protected my mat that way but that apparently was just too much hard work so all dry now. I did put a heat gun to it just because I was wanted it quicker. And there we go. So I made that layering a little bit longer there on that left hand side just because the doily 
was longer and I'm just running my thickers through some wet glue so I've spurted the wet glue onto my mat so I can rub it in rather than putting it on the back individually they're so thin and it's just going to go everywhere so it's better to do this and then when I've finished I just use a baby wipe to wipe the glue off the bottom so I'm just going to spell out home sweet home I, I will fast forward through the editing in a second you don't need to watch me do all that but I thought it would be important to show that's how I attach them and actually I've been doing a lot lately that way like some wood veneer and some little enamel dots and stuff like that it works very very well there we go so that just nestles in super well in that little spot of the layering just adding that glue to the doily just so I'm not wasting it and the doily stuck down superbly pushing down on the stamp block to make sure all those thickers are stuck so yes yeah, so that title just nestled in really well in that spot and I'm just going to now work on embellishing and working out those finishing touches to the layout I've got out these the puffy stickers now I've cut them down into little sheets of the sticker sheet just so that it'll fit in my really useful box but also once I use a few of them it means that that plastic sheet is now finished and it feels very I feel very accomplished when I can throw out a sticker backing even if it is part of the full sheet it is still motivating as a um, goal to completing the whole kit so we've got those little wooden buttons in the stash as well in the kit sorry and so they're going to go on there it's always really lovely to get a few on there I love this little um, banner little flag I guess it is it says home so that was cute and just nestles in really well there and I like that it's sitting at an angle it just sort of draws your eye to it without being um, straight with all the other layering and stuff going on and and hiding in that section now the thickers have got these lovely little asterisks so I'm chucking them on as a pop of the black across the page and they've obviously the people who've designed the thickers have thought about it because they've added three of them which you know three is that magic number or odd is that magic number for design and embellishments I'm just going around with a just a black pen going around each of the paper layers just to highlight them and that does make them pop off the page a lot more gives them that kind of sh shadow that kind of definition that that outline that denotes okay this is the yellow piece this is the orange piece this is the white and black piece it then lifts it up off the background and gives that that dimension so that it's not a flat piece of um, of a piece of paper upon paper and, and flat it gives that depth so you can see it all anyway added my journaling into that label down the bottom and then I'm just having to think about some other things so there's all these little um, dots they needed some I needed some black more black down the bottom here even though my titles black it just needed some more a pop of black um, I could have definitely used enamel dots but that would have required me to to stand up and go get them because at this time I was not scrapping at my normal spot so instead I used all these little dots which I'm not likely to use anyway and either way as long as you get them on the page and use up your supply it doesn't matter if you use it for the intended purpose or for a different purpose supplies which is this is a hard lesson that I've been learning I'm still having to remind myself supplies should be seen in albums rather than stored prettily pretty in a storage box on a Kallax shelf on a Rascog you know somewhere in a drawer it's better to be using all this stuff and into an album so that when you're flipping through you can look at all the prettiness but also all the moments and memories of life anyway adding an outline border to the whole page and then this is it so check out the close-ups and I will catch you in the next video Bye, guys.